Yo, what's up guys? So, welcome to uh, this week's reveal of what I picked up. It was a uh, small week after a huge week at the uh, Expo. As you see, we kind of surprisingly had free time and we went everywhere. This week, not as much, but like I said, I should have possibly a few surprises in store. Some new places. So, I mean, hopefully it, everything pans out. I did pick up two Super Famicom games from uh, downtown Bukhov. The first one is called Astro Bout. So it is, if you can see, rings fighting network. So rings is sort of a mixed martial arts that takes place in a wrestling ring in fact a lot of it a lot of the guys in rings actually challenge other wrestlers in New Japan of FMW Noah All Japan. So I'm pretty happy I found that, especially for the price. Another game I found that I'm pretty happy for Fire Pro Wrestling 2 for the Super Famicom. Uh, so I remember. Getting the original Super Fire Pro for the Famicom. Back then I wasn't really well versed in Japanese wrestling. I knew New Japan exists. But I didn't know a lot of the characters and from that game I started learning about the characters especially the famous referee Tiger uh, <laughs> that game the original Fire Pro had less than 20 characters I believe Maybe a little bit more than 20. I do remember the Road Warriors was in it. Uh, the Great Muta. Big Van Vader, Jushin Thunder Lager. They did have a Tiger Mask. I don't know which version. They had Black Tiger. I believe it was the Eddie Guerrero version, Wild Pegasus, Riki Choshu, uh, Shinya Hashimoto, Misawa, Kawada, Kenta, Junakiyama, Masahiro Chono, it was a 
lot of wrestlers at the time, and it was something different than the American wrestling games. I actually fell in love with the game. And of course, Super Fire Pro Wrestling 2 came out, 3 came out, uh, I believe 3 was the first one that actually bought in some WWE characters. Well, I think 2, if I remember correctly, brought in some uh, American WCW characters. So I've been a fan of Fire Pro since the Super Nintendo Super Famicom. It's been one of my favorite wrestling game series. And there has been quite a few series. Token Red Sudden, Virtual Pro Wrestling for the Nintendo 64. Token, of course, was the uh, PS1. They had four games for it. Only one was brought over and called Power, Power League Wrestling, I believe. But back in the Super Nintendo days, they actually, I believe, had five wrestling games going in Japan. Uh, Fire Pro Wrestling, of course, was one of them. I do remember All Japan Pro had two wrestling games, one of which was the names were taken out and brought over to America as Hammerlock. Pro Wrestling, to me, hands down, one of the my favorite games, I believe was on the NES, the original Nintendo, Tecmo World Wrestling. I kind of wish they continued the series. I would have loved to see how that series would have look like it today. Main event pro wrestling. And both WWE and WCW had their wrestling. I believe PlayStation 1 They had maybe five wrestling games also going. PS2 had about four. I remember Fire Pro Wrestling. Uh, Tokens Red Suit and had stopped by then, but they also Re, I guess redid everything to uh, All Star Wrestling and Wrestle Kingdom K1 
King of Coliseums, the first wrestling game with two discs. Each disc, I believe, had two or three different companies, which was insane. The PS5 is actually getting a new Wrestling Kingdom game. Truthfully, I never thought that would happen. So the Fire Pro, of course, their last game that they did was Fire Pro World, which was on PS4. I would love to see a Japanese wrestling game on Xbox. I kind of would love to see... I think... We have a lot of Japanese fighting games, thanks, of course, mainly from Arc Studios. But you also got Namco with Soul Calibur and Tekken, Capcom with Street Fighter. But could you imagine going back or bringing everything forward? To have Japanese companies making Japanese wrestling games fighting each other. And currently, the two American, two biggest companies in America, WWE and AEW, both have wrestling games. But imagine if we could get impact wrestling creating a wrestling game possibly another indie promotion maybe another legends of wrestling game possibilities for both America and Japanese wrestling is insane. It's been a while since I've actually paid attention to Japan, but I'm, I know all Japan is still going, or not all Japan, New Japan. I'm pretty sure All Japan is still going. I'm pretty sure DDT is still going. I'm hoping my friends in Dragon Gate are still going. And speaking of games both Japanese and American. I do miss Fight Night, you know, boxing games. Actually good boxing games. Another thing I'm missing is K1. These days, all we have is UFC. And as great as UFC is, there is nothing like going one on one with somebody in a boxing game or in a K K1 game where all you have is your hands and your feet. 
No grabs, no takedowns, no submissions. And I miss the old days of video games. But anyway, that is why I'm collecting all of this. Besides that, I did get to pick up three pots of course we had to pick up X-Men 97 the Goblin Queen it is a 2023 fall convention limited edition Madeline Pryor the clone of Jean Grey which is awesome so we have Gambit, Cyclops Magneto and Bishop and the Coplin Queen and I think we had one more I can't remember who it was though But definitely going up with the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants and the Evil Mutants. One of the last characters I still need is Apocalypse, if they ever make him. Speaking of Apocalypse, got Darkseid, the Justice League version. It kind of looks like the old school cartoon with the fire, which was what I was looking for. I hate the movie, the live action movie version of him. Honestly, he looks cool in the movie as a Funko he <laughs> it literally pisses me off so I am very happy I finally found this version I've actually been looking for him for a while and honestly I couldn't find him which is insane My DC is, or DC Funkos is a little bit closer to being finished. Not only with Dark Side, but finally got my Sinestro. green lantern symbol so it's not the sinestro i would really want it as it's not the yellow suit yellow lantern suited sinestro this is actually the animated suit but of course you can see he has his yellow ring and yellow powers So, other than this one, uh, the only other Sinestro, or there's two other Sinestros i seen. One was, I believe, the White Lantern Sinestro, which... I'm not a huge fan of honestly I forget what the other Sinestro was but I think it might have been the Green Lantern version and again I'm not a huge fan of 
Give me the yellow suit. Give me. I mean, honestly, I was a pretty good fan of the animated look. It used the green suit, but it didn't have the emblem. And it was more black than green. And a very dark green at that. So, I mean, it's it, it's not a bad haul for this week. Could have done worse. Have done worse. Like I said, guys, I don't know what's happening this coming week. I'm hoping to have a surprise for you guys. At least one or two new shops to visit. Trying to finish this thing, which is insane. But once everything is finished, gonna look great uh, as far as DC goes definitely looking for a couple new Harleys I pretty much have everybody that I've wanted except for two characters that they have not made one is Solomon Grundy and one is Eclipso I would love to have both of them in the smaller boxes Maybe a Giganta and definitely a better looking Cheetah. Oh, and uh, they have made one like Darkseid and Sinestro. He is a Funko.com exclusive though. So I have to find him and that is the Captain Code. So, the only Captain Code that they made is, I believe, from the CW show. And, well, they made two. One where he's covered with the parka and one where he's not. I love that Captain Code. I just didn't like the outfit. I, I want, I think the the actor who played him did a great job, just as, you know, Heat Wave, but I am more a comic book fan as, of the outfit, or the animated fan of the outfit, so I want Captain Cold and the light blue and white parka and the uh, his light blue pants which again is on Funko.com if you're looking at my Facebook and my Instagram little by little trying to clean my room and get all my Funkos into a picture so I know who I have I'm not yet half done I still have to do my spider man my spider villains 
the X-Men, the Marvel characters, <sighs> then I have my movie characters, my cartoon characters, and then the bigger, bigger one <laughs> to do, my Disney character Funkos. So lots of things coming, not only here, but Facebook and Instagram, but once I get everything done, clean and put up, all the pictures taken, I, I am kind of pasting them together to create a movie and it will be definitely on here so you guys get to see all the Funkos that I've actually gotten up to that point. Trying to take pictures of all my action figures as well, which is even worse than the Funkos. But slowly everything is coming together. Hopefully before Christmas everything is done. And well. Hopefully do a room tour. Hopefully. There's still a lot of things I want, a lot of things I need to order. We'll see what happens. But stay tuned for next week. If nothing else, I know I'm stopping off at boat book offs. Doing a little per ridge run. Like I said, there's things I want to see and things I want to do. Hopefully, you guys will see a few new stores. Besides what we usually do. All I can say is hold on. And enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching guys. Be safe out there. Take care. And as always. Aloha.